The person who actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan, Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the octagon. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base, Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence, the blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade, took it with him to the factory, and put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hid a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its cord. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free, while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream, he stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Finally. He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. The panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. <laughs> In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity... I love it. I love that it's all of us. I love this it. This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Uh, um, 
Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? <laughs> you say we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was? Huh? He said this to us earlier. It's gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. There's no way hope can lose. Absolute hope that can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this. Only that I believe in you all, and I believe in the time we spent together. Okay. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. What he believed in. His talent? Yeah. I see. His talent, the ultimate lucky. Yep. Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. I believe in you guys, and more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. Yeah, I do remember him saying that. I remember that. Okay, it's gonna be all right. The last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. But in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. Wasn't life threatening at all. It was just a little escape game with Rush Roulette. You know. Where you shoot a game with five bullets in a gun, hope that one of them, the one that's empty, is the one you don't shoot yourself with. Or you do shoot yourself with. Ah, right, whatever. Anyway. That's how you're supposed to play. Ah, <laughs> uh, Nagito. <laughs> one in six chance. Well, I'm still alive. He did the same thing when the first killing happened at the school old building near the hotel. He depended on his luck and was able to get cleaning duty just as he wanted. Yup, yup. Just trusted my luck and trusted I'd be picked cleaning duty, yup. Yup, I remember that. I remember that. It's true my talent is trash, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student. I'm left with the red mark? Huh, someone called the lucky lucky right now. Uh -huh. Hajime said it wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. Yeah, I was lucky there. But his luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought it was strange that it doesn't connect to anything. Huh? He factored in his belief in us. But for some reason, he didn't factor in his own luck. No, there's no way. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about. Wh what did he do? No. He wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. A target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Magito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student. And incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean... He left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? The traitor, duh. No, I don't even have to ask. I should already know what, what the answer is. The traitor. Let's see. That's it? The traitor? Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he... He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Then, what he said in his video message... Won't work with just any student. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor student handbook. I just found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was annoyed that they never came forward. So he was just bluffing. You damn right he was. That's probably true. 
by that point, his plan should have already been in motion. Oh, I'm so glad this is going to come up. Who scanned their their handbook? Oh, you already know, baby. Then it's just as Nagito said at the beginning. His purpose was to weed out the traitor. If we just believed in what Nagito said, we would have reached the answer much quicker. The reason this took so damn long, was it really because we didn't believe in him? But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. He did if he wanted the traitor to die also. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that! It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. Indeed. That's something he'd say. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to believe me? He relied on his luck to aim for a target, but he didn't even know who he was aiming for. Sounds way too unbelievable to have actually happened, but... The only thing we can do is believe. All you gotta do is believe! If we don't, then we'd just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. If, by chance... The traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare. What would have happened? Would it have stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it because they weren't created to do that. Well, if you weren't already thinking Chiaki was the traitor, this whole section right here is definitely pointing to her already. Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! That's why... I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. What? What does that mean? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Who do you think the future Foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Seriously, why? Who do you think is the traitor? Hajime, please. Well, like I said, if we haven't already come to the conclusion, I think it's her. And I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with my assumption because I think I'm right. It's... you? Chiaki, you're the traitor? Please! Hold on! Ah, you totally guessed right. Uh-oh. Yes! I was really hoping that if we, if she was the traitor, maybe she'd actually have like a personality change and we'd have some more fun with this? Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. I'm the traitor. The agent sent by the future foundation to hide among you all is me. Damn it. Why? This is, I mean, this is nonsense. Or this nonsense is, why? Why does this make sense? Hey, Chiaki, are you being serious right now? Ch Chiaki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must be joking. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Hey, what are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? You... Up till now... You've been tricking us? What? We were not tricked! After all, we have been working together all this time. We have been helping each other all this time. Chiaki, being a traitor... Being a member of that horrifying future foundation, that is obviously a lie! Please, wait! The future foundation isn't what you think it is! Shut the fuck up! We're talking to Chiaki! No, I have nothing more to say. Why? Because we already know the killer's true identity. So the only thing left to do is vote. So, because 
the traitor. Okay, because of Nagito's ultimate luck, he assumes the traitor was the one that grabbed the, uh, the the grenade and threw it. Because of his luck, would definitely weed out the traitor. So that means we have to come to the conclusion that Chiaki definitely was the one that had to be the one that grabbed the grenade that had the poison. I guess. Hold on, we're not satisfied yet. If you say you are the traitor, please provide an explanation that will help us understand. We cannot vote until we are satisfied. That is what you said earlier, Chiaki. Hey, if you're really the traitor, why'd you wait till now to reveal yourself? It's weird, isn't it? Waiting until right now to out yourself. Oh, she already outed herself, to me anyways. It's definitely strange, right? Or rather, why was I able to do that? Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Huh? Hey, Hajime. Can you do me a small favor? Favor? Me? I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. What? What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? I want to explain everything to you guys, but... As I expected, that's rather difficult. That's why... The only thing I can do is plead with you. I want you to do it. I believe you can prove it. Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you. I... There's no way I can do that. I'm very sorry, but this is the only way. So please... <laughs> Looks like we gotta do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming it. If she was just disguised or something, this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... She's not disguised at all! Cause... Chiaki isn't the traitor! Monami? <laughs> Too bad. I'm not part of the same group as that girl. I don't know anything about that girl at all. Hey, are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck! I've always been alone. I have no friends anywhere. That's why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. Hajime, you're going to listen to my request, right? Damn it. Chiaki isn't my friend. I hate Chiaki so much. Monami and Chiaki's relationship? Proving it here? Is that the only way? Okay. Oh boy. PTA against Monami? Alright. Oh god, here we go. What are the buttons again? Hold on. So yeah, X is to lock on an attack, circle final strike. Um or square. Uh oh, squares reload. Oh. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Final strikes, all the buttons. Um, I only care about triangle, or sorry, X and, and, and square. X and square is all the okay. Let's all get along. I won't let you. Let's all get along. First open and mix. I can't lose. Hajime, you stupid face! I won't let you! First open and mix! I'll lower your grades! Disappear! Hajime, you stupid face! Got him! Chucky and I uh, aren't best Ma, friends! Nami's notebook! This is the Got end. it! That wasn't that bad. She didn't even do nega time on me, so that's nice. When we investigated Nagito's cottage, I discovered a notebook with a new Sami logo on it. That's your notebook, right? The one Nagito stole from you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't tell me. Is that where the traitor's true identity is written? That's right! Since I knew something like this would happen, I made sure to bring it here today. Oh, so sudden? Give me that notebook! Day one. I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two. Bianca is the leader. A lot of things happened. Huh? What is this? What is this? Monokuma's diary? Is the traitor's identity written in here? Nagito was probably looking for that too. So that might be why he stole the notebook. But you wouldn't know who the traitor is just by reading this notebook. Of 
course, Nagito wouldn't know either. However, it's different for me. You know? It took me this long, but I finally understand. No, the truth is, I might have already known the moment I found this notebook. It's just, I wanted to turn my eyes from the truth it contained. But now I clearly know. I can't help but know. First of all, this isn't Monami's diary. Apparently she can't write. Then the one who wrote this is... Someone connected to Monami. Meaning, it's not a mistake to think that the traitor wrote it. If so, is this like a report that the traitor was sending to Monami? Is it evidence that they were observing our actions and reporting to Monami? But how would you know who the traitor is from that? Because there's an entry written in here that only me and one other person would know. The topic we discussed in the entry was... The final dead room? It must be. Because I think Chiaki was the only other one that was there when we talked about that. So that's got to be it. In the notebook, there was a specific entry. We've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go to the final dead room today. Uh, yes. Yes. Right. Chiaki is the one that stopped me. Right, right. Okay. There it is. It's true. I tried to go inside the final dead room. But the only one who knew that. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. And then Shiaki's the one that stopped us. Yep. That's right. The only person who knew that is... Chiaki. That's why Chiaki is the only person who could have possibly written about this. There must be some mistake. I mean... If Chiaki is the traitor, what was all that time we spent with her? Was that all a lie too? Miss Sonia. Chiaki is... She is being controlled by Monokuma. That is why we should help her. I I'm not satisfied either. I mean, if you were the traitor, there's no way you'd do something so stupid when we found the bomb. Scanning her thing? It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. Yep, see, she scanned her thing. I'm telling you, the reason why she did this was because she knew she was the traitor and she didn't want everyone to die. But then it didn't work, so she was like, oh, I'm safe. <laughs> okay, anyway, huh? Without well, hesitation, swept the card reader. Yeah, see, she did it to save us, but it didn't matter. Now that you mention it, Chiaki immediately went to the card reader with her handbook. She tested it out right away after being told it would only react to the traitor's handbook. That doesn't make any sense. A traitor would be more cautious than that. Chiaki probably knew the bomb was a fake. That's why she also knew Nagito's trap was a bluff. And there you go. She, she knew? That is a mistake. That must be a mistake. Why are you saying such things? Do you really want Chiaki to be the traitor? Why would I want that? Just because what I want and what is the truth doesn't have to be the same thing, man. Of course not. I will not believe it. I refuse to believe Chiaki is a traitor. There is... Just no way! I don't want to believe it either. I don't want to believe, but... But then nobody will be saved. So who... What are we doing now? Are we arguing? Oh my god, we're still arguing? Jesus Christ. Okay, this one's probably going to be Monokuma's account because he's the one that talked about how nobody else knew. Chiaki is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off the bomb... Didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? She did. If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. I mean, not there's no way true. Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake Oops. was. Shit, man, I'm wasting my time. Me, when I tried to nope. turn me. Wrong. Monokuma knew. Oh, what? I'm not mistaken at all. Damn You're it. the one who's wrong. Wait, what? Monokuma's Chiaki account says something about. Hold on, maybe I jumped the gun there. There might be another piece to the piece to the thing he's about to say, but hold on. Monokuma knew all along the bombs were fake, however, he apparently never revealed it. Aki is not the traitor! Well, that's true, he wasn't the only one they knew. Mon Monokuma knew. When we were trying to turn off the bomb, didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious! There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not! The only person who knew it was a fake was me when I tried to detonate it. 
Okay. Unless you know a whole lot about bombs. There's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at it. Okay. I want to believe it, but I have to move forward. I have to move forward toward the path she's showing us. So Jackie wait. Jackie is not the traitor. Uh, when we were trying to turn off the bomb, didn't Jackie use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was <sighs> me when I tried to detonate it. Okay. Unless you know a whole lot about bombs, there's no way you know. I'm just gonna try it here. No. Okay. So it's not Monokuma's account. Damn it! At all. Okay. Chiaki so what are my other bullets? Manami's notebook. Hold on. Manami's notebook doesn't say anything useful here, right? Diary. That mana. I mean, up there. Okay. Um. What about Sonya's account, real quick? Secretly used one of the bombs to military base to the ancient ruins and found that it was bombs fake. At that time, Manami was apparently peeking. Manami was apparently peeking. Forgot about that. All right. There's your answer right there. All right. We were trying to turn I forgot the about the the. The, the, the Monami secretly peeking. I completely right forgot about that. I'm glad that's there because I'm, I'm glad I read that. Traitor, so I just, I, I do have to use this on Sonya's me. There's no way Chiaki would have known. Have do it. Yeah, my bad. If that bomb was fake or not. Yep. The only person who knew it was a fake yep, one. Just say it already. It's you. We know. Me. Yep, when I you. Tried to it. There it is. All right. It's not it. All right. All right. Sorry. I just had to read Sonya's account again because I forgot what it said. But Mo Monokuma is the only one that knew too, so That's I mean that it. made sense to me also. Sonya shouldn't have been the only one who knew it was a fake. Monami was also there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real. You said so yourself. Is that true, Miss Sonia? Chiaki heard about it from Monami. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. And there you go. Since I've been found out, I'll just confess. The reason I couldn't tell anyone I knew the bomb was a fake was because if I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard about it from Monami. I do not want to hear that! Oh god. We have to do another one of these too? Oh my lord, really? Enough already. Ugh. Please do not say another word. I do not want this anymore. I am so very tired of doubting people. Sonia. Uh, and... Just because she knew the bomb was a fake does not mean we should decide she is the traitor! She's admitting she's the traitor, man. Anyway, alright. Here we go. I have no idea which one's going to count here, but it's probably going to be... I don't know, the Hope's Peak Academy thing? I, I don't know. Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chucky is the traitor! If that counts as evidence... I should be doubted too! After all, I also knew the bomb was fake! I'm out of cuts. I wasted one. Shit. I wasted one. Even if one. she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chucky is a traitor! If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too! After all, I also knew the bomb was fake! <sighs> I wasted one, but at least we did it. Jesus Christ, okay. I don't know which no one I'm going to use here, but it's probably going to end up being Monokuma's thing. What matters is who told her. Okay. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. Okay. There was someone other than me and Monami. Oh, Monokuma. Who knew that bomb was fake. Oh shit, I should be chopping this. Fuck, my bad. That someone is Monokuma. That's true. Monokuma said so earlier. He knows everything about this island. Uh-huh. Monokuma probably said he was faithful, and so, you could not declare that! Monami and Shiaki were working together! She should know. I also wasn't wish it wasn't true. Hoping that Shiaki says, just kidding! With that, she's my solar star. Shiaki isn't wishing there for that. There was someone other than me and- So wait, Monokuma's account says what again? However, he apparently never revealed it to anyone. Okay. Monami! Who knew that bomb was fake? That someone is Monokuma! 
Matakuna said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. Uh-huh. Matakuma probably told Chiaki that it was fake before, and so you could not declare what? that. What? Oh, I fucking clicked Why the wrong button. Were working together. What am I doing? I'm supposed to just click the button to throw the. I'm stupid. I fucked up. Now I gotta do. Ah! Ah! I fucked up. I Even fucked up. Okay. The bomb was fake. I probably just had to throw the Monokuma thing out there, and I just. I, I, I pressed the wrong button. I forgot I had to press a button, and, I, and I, I'm stupid. I was thinking I had to slice. I don't know I why I'm forgetting too. how to play this stupid mini game. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. This might be my least favorite of the mini games we play in this one. Yeah, I even like Knowing the rhythm one and the shitty the version of Hangman better than this. What matters is who told I don't really like this one that much. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. There was someone other than me and Monami who knew that bomb was fake. That someone is Monokuma. Uh huh. Matakuma said so earlier. Correct, he knows everything about this island. All right, we're gonna throw it. Matakuma probably thought it was fake beforehand. Right there. Yep, there it is. Got it. He didn't tell anyone, so there you go. You're right. Matakuma probably knew the bomb was a fake, but Matakuma shouldn't have told anyone either. Yep. Morning, ba ba ba. I wonder. I'm gonna give you guys a hint, and you should know it wasn't from the military base. To tell you the truth, the bombs are all fakes. You shouldn't have said so earlier. Well, I thought if I kept quiet for Shadow, that's why so I'm just telling you the first time. Will you only leave? Okay. Th that. Manakuma may have just been lying. Come on, man. No, he won't lie at times like this. You already know that. Uh, Hajime, are you going to believe Manakuma over Chiaki? That's not it. It's just, even if Chiaki is the traitor. Is it really okay to vote for her? That basically just means we have to believe in Nagito's luck, right? Exactly. See, that's the other thing. Do we even know it was actually her? Do we have proof? Or are we just assuming? That's not it. Are you telling us to trust his luck? Are you telling us to entrust our lives to that bastard? There's no way I can believe in Nagito. I'm telling you that's not it. We shouldn't believe in Monokuma or Nagito. We have to believe in Chiaki. Huh? doesn't matter who the traitor is. Even if Chiaki is the traitor, that's not the Chiaki I know. I believe in the Chiaki who's been with us this whole time. That Chiaki is saying she wants to protect us with her life. So the only thing we can do is believe her. If we don't, nobody's going to be saved. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, can you listen to me a little? There's nothing to be sad about, you know? Because this is different from what happened before. Unlike before, you guys don't have to stay alive by doubting someone. You guys can stay alive by believing in me. Are you telling us to believe in you and sacrifice you? That is just too cruel. I'm sorry. Ch Chihaki. Monami, I'm sorry too. You're probably gonna get scolded by a lot of different people for this. But still, I want to protect everyone by any means. And I'm happy that I'm able to do that. It's not up to me to decide whether that's right or wrong. However, I believe it's truly amazing that you were able to think like that. We could even call this a miracle. Hey, what have you two been talking about? Everyone's jaws are dropping, you know? I know. It's voting time, right? Uh, hey, Chiaki. You don't have to worry. Believe in me, and cast your vote. God damn it! Why did it end up like this? Is this it? That's over, man. Oh my god, what a trial! Holy shit! I gotta, I gotta keep going. I gotta see the end of this. I can't just stop here. I'll be cock teasing myself if I stop here. Hell no! I'm gonna keep going for a bit. We gotta see that. We gotta see the end of this chapter. I gotta see the end of this chapter. Holy shit. I cannot stop right now. It's not fair. I feel the same as everyone else. There's no way I can agree to this. Emptiness. Loneliness. Sadness. But most of all, I'm ashamed of my weakness. But, even so, I have to, keep, I have to move forward. If we believe in the person who's urging us forward, then we have to start walking. And, I'm, and believe with as much hope as possible in what lies ahead. 
Oh, wow. Do we actually... Um, 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 okay. Why is it making me choose again? I don't know. Even so. Oh my god. I had a choice. Shit. Oh, I had a choice. I had a choice. I had a choice. This was like the last game. Oh no. Well, I wonder if this is the bad ending. Oh, I just thought about it as I clicked it. Oh no. Hold on. Man, I pooped. Let's go ahead and announce the result. The traitor from the Future Foundation and Nikito's Komaeda, Nikito Komaeda's killer is... Chiyaki Nanami! Damn it! Are you serious? That was correct? <sighs> the fact that Chiyaki was a traitor, and the fact that Nikito's crime depended entirely on his luck. <sighs> Everything was true. Damn it. Plus, that means that bastard managed to pull it off. Congratulations, everyone. Damn it. Stupid, we're not celebrating at all. Damn it! Chiaki, let me ask you one more time. Are you really part of the Future Foundation? An agent of the organization that brought us to this island? Is that really your true identity? I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. What? Shh. That is... I cannot believe it, even though I do not want to believe it. There is no choice but to believe, right? I'm sorry. It would have been better if I could have said it sooner, but I couldn't say it no matter what. Because... I can't betray the Future Foundation. Can't betray? Well? Even if you want to fly, you can't, right? Even if you want to swim where you please, you can't, right? Um... It's the same for me. Due to the nature of my existence, I will never be able to betray the Future Foundation. Is she a robot? The heck? But in the end, you did something similar. What you did is no different than sharing your secret yourself. <laughs> You're right. Why? Now's not the time to be laughing. Well? Strangely enough, I don't have any regrets. In fact, I'm somewhat happy. I was able to think I wanted to protect everyone. That's why I feel proud of my actions. Ah. You're still saying things I don't get, but if we ask you anything, you're not not—you're just not going to answer, right? Like, if we ask you why you were in the Future Foundation stuff. I'm sorry. That is... Even if you were the traitor... You never betrayed us. Chiyaki, you will always be our friend, even now. We don't blame you for this. That's why you don't need to apologize. Yeah. So the traitor was revealed and Chiyaki lost. In the end, it all went according to Nagito's plan, huh? Like... About that. Was that really Nagito's goal? Is it really okay to say he was trying to find the killer and eliminate them? If so, isn't it strange? Strange? So... I mean, we nearly lost, right? And if Chiaki hadn't said anything, we definitely would have lost. <laughs> You've raised a good point. That's exactly it. Even though Nagito said he would weed out the traitor, he never said he would kill the traitor. Huh? Yes, indeed. Congratulations, you successfully stopped Nagito's plan. I mean, Nagito's plan was to reveal the traitor. <laughs> and kill everyone else besides the traitor. Wait, what? Why would Nagito want that? Huh? Kill everyone besides the traitor. Are you that serious? That was Nikito's goal? Huh? Why would he do something like that? All the, uh, to form a plan that only the traitor would survive? <laughs> Is that bastard really that twisted? Nope. It's okay. Okay, what? Well? I mean, it's not just Nikito's fault. If the circumstances had been different, he probably wouldn't have taken things so far. Ch chucky You really are a kind hunter person. Hmm. Huh? You think so? <laughs> Please, I wonder where you got your personality from. Perhaps. Maybe our dad and big brother, don't you think? Wait, what? Hey, come on now. Hey, don't go talking about your family all of a sudden. That's totally ripping off Teru Teru. I can't lose. Then I cannot lose to Chiaki. Just like Chiaki and everyone else, even I, if I know I, it's a fight, I cannot win. I, I must try to retaliate. Huh? Retaliate? Uh-oh. Oh shit! I will no longer let you do as you please. The patented humping attack. Let's go. S stupid! Stop! What are you doing? As they say, we shall die together. What? The heck? Hello? 
she self-destructed? Why'd you say? What is what's going on? Huh? Monokuma like die? No, no. I'm not dead. <gasps> wow, I knew one fucking came out uh Phew. Phew, man, that surprised me. If only I didn't have a spare, I would have died. I can't move. Not yet, I'm not done yet. Oh god. <laughs> hey, wait! Uh-oh. Suicide bomb number two! If I don't beat you, <laughs> nobody can live in peace! Stop it, I say! Uh, I'm sorry, I lose! Forgive me! Dude, what is happening right now? Nanami for the win. Hey, hey. Not yet. Seriously, stop it! If you don't stop right now, it's all going to be destroyed! I won't forgive you! Of course! You. I'm doing it so you'll all be destroyed! I will be the one to protect my students! I won't let you! I will protect them with my life! Manami, you... Hey, hey! Now then, how many of you are still there? You might as well come out all at once! Ooh! How um, exciting. how many? Uh, not that much! Just around 10 to the power of 60! Huh? What did you say? What? One million? Hmm. One, ten, one hundred, one thousand, ten thousand, one million, one billion, one trillion, one, tr one quadrillion. Jump ahead, ten, ten, ten to the sixty. Oh my lord. That's ten to the sixtieth power. <laughs> hey, hey. After this, you're still joking around. You sure you have quite the daring spirit? Too bad. Except I'm not joking. <laughs> what are you even saying anymore? Didn't you see that scene? Yep, that one. <laughs> yep, my clones are continuous and endlessly being created in the Monokuma Manufacturing Facility. That's wrong. What? Those were just stuffed animals. That's right. I checked them with my own hands. They're just plushies. D damn it! You're just bluffing. Manami, fish them off. Hey, um... Even if it's just a plushie, as long as you give it Monokuma's personality, <laughs> it becomes a fully developed Monokuma. What did you say? There's no way that's possible. That's not even magic. <laughs> magic, huh? <laughs> Could it be? Could it be? Have you already obtained that much power? Hey, hey, hey! Hold on. If you bring up magic so suddenly, we're gonna be so confused. Unless you mean magic as a technological sense, we won't understand this at all. Hey, hey. What's going on? Don't tell me. They're not gonna call this magic or something. Hmm. Well, I don't care how you interpret it. In the end, even if Monami risks her life or does whatever, it doesn't matter to my army of 10 to the power of 60 strong! <laughs> There's no value in that life you're risking! So how about this? This overwhelming despair! Does it make you dizzy from excitement? What's this? Oh, and how many Manamis are left to challenge my army of 10 to the 60th power? Uh-oh. <laughs> you don't have to say anything. I know, let's see. You just have 10 more left, right? Uh, I know everything. I am the conqueror of the new world. I can't lose. I won't give up, even if I have no chance of winning. I... It's okay, Monami. Hmm? Well? It's not about giving up, you know. Let's believe in them. Let's believe in everyone, and leave the rest to them. I... But... Right? Damn it. What the hell's going on? Um... I do not know for certain, but the only thing I can say is... Please listen! Monokuma is an enemy of the Future Foundation. Like... Does that mean there's another f organization that's our enemy besides the Future Foundation? This is bad... We're in this situation because we got caught up in a dispute between these two organizations? Damn it! Okay, that's it. Let's just leave that talk for later. <laughs> because, 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 because... Yahoo! Because the punishment time's gonna start. Ugh. Hold on. Just a little more. Just a little more time. Shing! To wait or not to wait, that is the question. But which will cause more despair? That's the real question. <laughs> if you think about it, you'd know, right? There's no way I'd wait. But I haven't... I'm sorry. Hajime, regardless... There's nothing else I can say. I'm not allowed to say anything more than I already have. Not that, I... Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer! Special bleeding service! Ah, for Manami too! Uh-oh. Huh? Why even Manami? Hmm. It's just a two-for-one special. I could have killed that thing anytime I wanted since she's not a student. 
And also, I don't need anybody that will defy me anymore. Uh-huh. And also, I remember now. <laughs> I'm an Sorry. only child. That is... What is that? Hmm. It's okay. Even if I'm here, I'd just be a burden anyway, and not just that. <laughs> I've decided to believe in everyone. You guys, I'm sorry about so many things. I'm sorry for lying to you. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you to the very end. Just one last time, let me say something that makes me sound like a teacher. There's no need to be a hero. You don't have to force yourself just to make people acknowledge you. When you do that, you end up blaming yourself, blaming other people, and feeling jealous of everyone. But still, it doesn't have to be like that. Even if people don't acknowledge you, you just have to be someone that you can be proud of. Cause, you yourself are your biggest supporter. If you can learn to love yourself, that love will continue to support you for the rest of your life. Love, love. Whoa. Bye, everyone. Wow. Okay. It's okay. A shining future will always be waiting for you. It's true. It's absolutely true. Because I know. Bye-bye. Please don't forget about your teacher. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Uh-oh. The very last one, he says. Okay, well. Wow, okay. I'm still uh, wondering if the whole thing forks off right here, right? Like, if I had picked something else there instead of Chiaki, was there an alternate, like... <laughs> you too, Monami! <laughs> was there an alternate thing I could have done here? I wonder. I'll have to look into it later, or somebody will probably spoil it in the comments, actually. So. Anyway, let's see what happens here. Oh no, it's the tank. Please insert coin. Ha ha ha! Nice. Wait, what? Oh shit, what the hell? Get Pac-Man? Uh-oh. The heck is going on? Now they're getting Tetris? Oh my god, this is amazing. Where to go now? <laughs> Waiting for the long one. Goodbye and good night. Killed by Tetris. <laughs> and then it's gonna. Yep. <laughs> that was kind of. That was kind of creative. I like that. <laughs> Even until the very end, I couldn't look away from Chiaki's final moments. Without realizing it, I had fallen to my knees, feeling a powerlessness spread throughout my body. It's over. It just had to end. Before I could ask what I needed to ask, before I could say what I needed to say, Chiaki vanished before my eyes, and I couldn't even tell her, thank you. If I had said that, would she have been comforted by, or been comforted a little? As she was executed as the traitor? Would she have been comforted a little? I don't know. My chest just hurt. I don't Good gracious, it. that was such a big surprise! As for Chiaki, she regularly took on the role of point man during the class trials, as did Nagito too. What? And not only was she the traitor, she was Nagito's killer too. Phew. Oh well, don't worry about it. There won't be any more situations where you'll need to rely on them. Huh? Wait, does that mean? Hmm. Now that the annoying rabbit is gone as well, all the obstacles that have been keeping us stuck on this island are completely gone. Hey! Are you serious? We can really leave this island? I shall now present 
Yep, congratulations! With this, I shall announce the end of the killing school trip. Okay. For you five, who've survived up until now, I shall give you the right to graduate. Um, okay. <sighs> Thank you all for your hard work. Are, are you really okay with that? Hmm? What do you mean? There are still two days left. If you were acting like your usual self, you would be setting things up so another killing happens right away. <sighs> You're right. <sighs> Stop it. What are you saying? What if Mr. Monokuma changes his mind? Also, you said you five, like you were emphasizing that part. Does the number of people matter more than the remaining time? That's why you're saying it's the end already, even though there are still two days left, right? Huh? It matters that there are five people left. <sighs> are you planning to make a volleyball team? <laughs> yes, I'm sure that's it. <laughs> you need six people for volleyball! Don't stay quiet. Oh, sorry. Don't stay quiet. Say something. What's your actual purpose? You're our enemy and an enemy of the Future Foundation, so what's your true identity? Hey, um... If the Future Foundation is the World Ender, then I will end the new world that the Future Foundation has created. Huh? No, no! Well, you'll just have to look forward to the rest after the countdown ends. <laughs> that timer has almost reached zero. If it reaches zero, everything will end. The Future Foundation's lame plan will be nothing but toilet bubbles. Hey, um... And when that time comes, you'll know everything. You'll see all of your questions answered in one go. Hmm. And then, you guys will find out for yourselves just how messed up this new world is. Hey, hey. Huh? A new world? Don't go saying new shit all, er, all of a sudden. Yep. Well, just think of the remaining two days until the countdown reaches zero as a bonus. Yeah. While you're at it, you should enjoy your life on this tropical island to the fullest. Because once you leave this island, Ching. your hopeless lives back home will be waiting for you. Ah. <laughs> Heck, man. This is fucking weird. Did I pick wrong? Monokuma's boisterous laughter carried on for what felt like forever. Our questions, our worries, our sadness were simply ignored. The laughter just kept going forever. As for what we did afterwards, honestly, it didn't. It doesn't matter at all. I returned to my cottage for the time being and fell asleep. Okay. Even after I woke up, my will to move my body didn't come back. That's why. I didn't look back on everything that happened up till now. I didn't think about what was going to happen. I just kept praying that nothing else would happen, and burrowed deep into my sheets as if I were trying to hide. In doing so, I was somehow trying to endure the long day. And then the sun finally set. The day feels abnormally long when you spend it praying that nothing happens. Which reminds me, I haven't heard Monokuma's announcement. I guess that isn't needed anymore. Is everything really going to end? What is everything, anyway? How far? How much is everything? If we leave this island, is everything going to end? There's still so much we don't know. About our school memories, the Future Foundation, Host Peak Academy, Monokuma's true purpose. Can we really end this and turn our back on all that? And not just that, if we're really leaving, then where are we going? To Host Peak Academy? I have no idea. That was my last night at Jabberwock Island? At a place where my worries didn't even matter. Everything was about to end. I feel like I picked wrong, right? This feels wrong. I'm gonna let it keep going because I feel like I picked wrong. I feel like I had a fun dream, somehow. I think it was about my childhood. Because of that, I was able to face the day with a somewhat f happier feeling than usual. That's right, it's the last day. According to Monokuma... Suddenly my body shuddered. Right when I opened my eyes, I was gripped by a fear that I had never felt before. Fear like I had been abandoned in this world. Completely, utterly alone. With nobody left on this island. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, Sonya... Like everyone was gone and I couldn't find them anywhere. I suddenly couldn't believe in anything, like everything in this world was nothing but lies. Ah! 
What a scream, right? I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. What? You said it twice. Oh. Three times. Oh! 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 Uh, what is happening? Monica, you're not supposed to invade this game. You're in a different game. Hello? When I left the cottage, I randomly ran into her. Hello there. Ah, oh, Haji, make good timing. What do you mean? See? Remember Nagito's video message that we found at the factory? Yeah, we were dealing with the bomb ruckus. What about it? Well? Apparently there was more to that message inside the laptop. Huh? Yep. We weren't able to see it until a day or so had passed. Apparently it was locked by a timer. Hmm. Did he set it up so we wouldn't be able to watch it until after the... Wait! What the heck's happening? This is... What? Why would he do that? Perhaps. Maybe Nagito planned to leave this as well. Nagito's will? Where is it right now? Um. We were just planning to meet at the restaurant and watch it together. The restaurant? What the fuck is happening? Hello? Okay. Alright, well now I'm just confused. And I'm glad I am, because now... What? I feel like I fucked up. Was I not supposed to let Chiaki die? Alright, this is where we stop. I have to stop. I'm already at three hours, right, like, right on the dot right now on my recording, and I... Holy shit. Okay. Well, guys... I guess this is the... Yeah, I mean, if I need to go back and redo the end of the trial, I'll have to do the second half of the trial. That's pretty much how, how it's going to have to happen, if I need to do that. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll pick up from right here next time, unless I decide something else. I don't know. I, I guess I have to just see this through to see what happens. Um, I'm sure some... I have, feel like somebody's going to spoil the alternate thing that can happen. Please don't. Please don't. I kind of want to see. If, if you're going to spoil the alternate thing that can happen, do it after we've seen this way all the way through. Because back in the first game, that same thing kind of happened when I when you had to pick between Kyoko and yourself, and then we picked Kyoko. That basically you blame if, if you blame Kyoko for the for the kill on Mukuro, then you get a false ending. But this false ending, if it is a false ending, is long as hell. Or if my other choice was the false ending, I guess. Okay, I guess you could say if the other choice is the false ending. You could just say that the other false, the other choices could have been false ending, but I'm on the right path. You can say that. That's fine. But otherwise, I don't want an answer. Anyway, this has been a crazy fucking s just sitting for me. Um, I've enjoyed this a lot. We're on the home stretch for sure now. Uh, we'll see what that means in the next one, I think. I hope. Probably. Maybe. I think. See you guys next time. Peace!